Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome back to another onboarding session. We're looking at chess.com today, and this is the home screen right over here. I've been a member of this site, I think, since 2015, although I have been a free member. So when I think about what constitutes onboarding, I think about any moment from when I first sign up, even if that's free, all the way to when I actually make my first purchase. So by that definition, I'm still in the onboarding phase of chess.com. Even though I have almost played 5,000 games of Bullet, uh, which is a one minute time limit, uh, which when you break it down is anywhere from 120 to 140 hours. So I've been on the site quite a long time and I'm still not paid. So I'm still in that onboarding phase. But I wanna look at a few things that they're doing pretty well. I like that uh, I'm welcomed with uh, the shot of curiosity in terms of the news each day. And occasionally I'll take a peek at those. Um, but usually what I'm doing is I'm coming over here and going to the big orange button just like on Amazon and clicking new game and because I like to play a quick game I'm going ahead and doing that right over here and if you're listening to the audio you'll see they do have good feedback mechanics already within the game I can see where the last move was and you do get pretty nice audio feedback as well while you're playing you can also see the moves coming across on the right side. So as the game is progressing, you can see that. You also have the feedback from, and actually at this moment, my face <laughs> is in the way of me making this move. Um, you also get the feedback um, with the countdown timer, obviously, to let you know where you are in the game. So from a gameplay standpoint, we're in good shape as well from a design. And you'll see the mechanics once we get to the end of this video around how they get you to continue playing even more games as you're now on the site and in the experience. Um, but interestingly enough, I do want to talk about why I haven't become a premium member of chess.com, which I think lends itself really well to a discussion around what chess.com might want to do if they were interested in getting me as a premium member because we do have 30 million uh, members on chess.com which is just a huge number of members um, however we we can see that uh, probably a considerable uh, portion of those are free as I am So we'll just close up the rest of this game here. And let's see what happens. Don't know if I'm gonna be winning this game or not. Just blender my queen away and end the game. Sometimes I like to resign right at the end so as not to give my opponent the satisfaction. All right, so right over here we can see that um, given this pop up of new one minute versus rematch, both of those are in gray. They actually want me to come over to this game report button. So let's go ahead and do that. Even though I'm, usually I'm asking my opponent for a rematch. And right away I'm getting this second pop up, which is part of their move towards getting me to go premium. To get full analysis, right, I can um, click on this orange button right over here or I can go basic. Let's actually find out what happens if I just click basic. So now they're actually gonna give me um, this readout. I really like this top right quadrant here, uh, which shows you your accuracy and moves. Although, as you can see, they're not, at this point, giving me the full uh, access to that. Um, that, I believe, has just changed as of one or two days ago, um, and I thought that was a pretty cool way for them to roll that out. They rolled it out to free first, and then they incorporated that into their upgrade um, in the premium. Uh, you can still see that as a percent of overall moves, you know, I made 11 best, best moves, uh, and then you know, I made six blunders and actually missed a win at one point. So I really do like that from uh, a stats perspective to give me feedback on the game I played, because if I am interested in learning, which their premium members are, then that's gonna very naturally move my eyes down towards this upgrade for full report. So let's see what that looks like before we close out the video. 
And you can see here I have a, actually a pretty well designed uh, Go Premium Get Better screen here with three options, uh, each of which also has a free trial. So I, I, I don't have much to, to offer in terms of feedback on this page. I think they're offering just the right amount of information um, and obviously gearing you towards that most popular diamond. Um, for what it's worth, each of these tags um, does show up in your player um, avatar when you're playing a game against someone. I occasionally uh, try to play better when I'm playing against these folks uh, since I'm a, a lowly plebeian and uh, I want to take them down. Um, but with that, that brings me to the end of this video on onboarding for chess.com. Um, if anything, I'd like to see them ask me uh, for my interest in the site itself. I think at one level I might be interested in learning, but there's also a chance for me to be entertained and possibly um, possibly pay for, for that in some way, whether that's involvement in additional tournaments, um, involvement in additional puzzles. We recently came out with Puzzle Rush, which is a new innovation for them. So if anything, I'd like a few more mechanics or feedback mechanics to drive me towards that if they are interested in getting more of those free members to pay. With that, uh, I'm going to sign out, but thank you for joining another session of onboarding sessions. I'm Eric, and I'll see you next time.